everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm pretty excited because i just purchased the pretty fresh foundation from ColourPop, and i'm very excited for this because i did purchase their tinted moisturizer when it first came out and i did really enjoy it so they've come out with a foundation which i'm excited for because it is hydrating it says it right on the bottle and it has i believe hyaluronic acid no it doesn't say it in the ingredients i thought it did have it because the tinted moisturizer has it um but yeah i'm excited to try this out so before we get started please be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of all my future videos let's go ahead and get okay, started so these lovely claws i have i bought from the store um and right before i filmed this video i was like oh let me just put them on really quick because i thought they were just quick little like press-ons and they actually were glue and i hate having to find the right size for my nails it's very annoying so we'll see how this goes today with really long nails okay so i already went ahead and did my eyeshadow off camera and my eyebrows so i am going to go ahead and prep my face I'm gonna first go in with the dynamic resurfacing facial pads. I normally use this after I cleanse my face, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it before I put my primer on. And this was $16 on ColourPop's website. And they have tons of different shades. Um, it's really hard to shade match online for me because i'm realizing that i'm getting a lot darker of a shade you know because i don't have you know really pale skin i have a little bit of color a little bit of a tannish so but every time i try and purchase something that's what i think in my mind it's always too dark like my last video where i put foundation that becca cosmetics one I got that in a BoxyCharm box. So looking back on the video when I was editing it, I was like, yeah, this is way, this is a little darker. Um, and I'm just a lot paler than I'm picturing in my head. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lambina 24 karat gold makeup base essence. All right, so for this foundation, it says hydrating foundation with skin perfecting medium buildable coverage for natural, healthy looking skin. Dermatologist tested, oil free, vegan. Okay, it does have hyaluronic acid known to hydrate and support healthy looking skin and then coconut water to support hydration and skin softness. So yeah, I knew the pretty, I was pretty sure the pretty fresh line had hyaluronic acid so yeah this is how big it is for $16 um I mean I guess it's a decent size you do get 100 fluid ounces I got the shade medium 80w um so we're just going to pray and hope that that is the right shade for me I am looking forward to trying out these new sponges I got from BoxyCharm. It's from the Cream Shop. It's Next Gen Blender Set. So it comes with two different um, beauty blenders to use. So I'm going to go ahead and try this one here to apply the foundation. So let's try her out. And I don't love like the full, full, full coverage look because I just don't feel like I personally myself need it. So let's go ahead and blend it out. Yeah, this looks more my color.
feels really light. It feels really good. Oh my gosh, I feel like I finally shade matched myself correctly this time. Because I was really going to select one that was maybe a shade darker. But yeah, this is how pale I am. I need to accept that. Okay, I brought you guys a little closer. Alright, concealer. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour concealer. And just do... Right there. I think TikTok for this trend. And then I'll do down my nose. Here. Here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I'm still having um, like a rash situation under here. I'm not sure if it's my eczema. And set the under eyes with the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder like I always do. And to set all over the face, I'm using the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Setting Powder. I have this um, this other new thing to try that I got in my BoxyCharm Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise. It's a bronzer and contour palette, which I've never had. Well, I have had the e.l.f. contour palette, but I needed a little upgrade, so this is good. So I'm going to go ahead and bronze. That's a nice palette. I really like that. These nails are going to kill me. Okay. Um, this is something else I wanted to try. It's from Laura Geller Multitasking Eye and Lip Cheek Palette. So it's cream to powder. And it has like a bronzer in here. And a blush. I do want to try this blush right here. Because I haven't tried it on my face. I did try it on my lips. And I did really like it. But I want to try it on the face. Okay, so it's not really coming on my brush. I may need. There we go. Yeah, I do want to give this another shot. The Iconic London Illuminator. I do want to try this out again with my finger. I didn't have much luck trying this last time because it dried down really quickly. So I'm just going to take a dry finger here. Dab it on my finger. Ugh, that seems like it's too much. really not jumping over joy I'm trying not to put too much on because I don't it dries quickly so I don't want to regret It's too thick for me because it's like once you start spreading it around it goes like way too it goes where you don't want it like it spreads too much I don't know I'm not a huge fan of that but we will continue and do the nose here So, all right, face is all done. Um, I just need to finish my eyeshadow, put some mascara, all that good stuff. So, all right, so I finished my mascara. I put a white 
eyeliner pencil in my waterline. It's from Maybelline Tattoo Studio. And now we're going to do lips just to finish everything off. So we're going to do a bold lip today, which I normally never do. This is from Ola Neon Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade The Easy Sell. And of course, we're going to top it with a gloss because how could we not? This lip is very pretty. Again, I normally would not wear this, but it really kind of ties in with the eye look. So for gloss, I'm going to just go in with this neck here. Um, this is something I got off Amazon. It's just a clear gloss. So I'm just going to put that on top. To set the face, we are going to go in with the Jeffree Star by Morphe Set and Refresh Mist. Alright, here is the finished look. I actually really like, I feel like this is the best kind of face I've done. I've always really kind of struggled with how to do bronzer, um, but I do actually enjoy all the products that I used. Regarding the foundation, it does still feel really comfortable. Um, really honestly, the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer and this foundation out of all the foundations I've tried, which isn't very many, honestly, because, you know, I am still starting up with a lot of the different brands and things like that for foundations and face makeup. But the two color pops that I've tried have been the most comfortable for me. It's been the most invisible to me. Like it's, I don't really, can't really tell that I'm wearing a foundation, which is good. Um, observing it my under eye here does not look too hot just because i've already explained um having a little bit of a skin issue there um having some cracking here but again it's a, it's dry skin as well um this little area is happening here um uh, it doesn't happen all the time but that is happening um but it's right by my my lips, I'm just, it's its really just allergy plus my eczema situation, but um, around my mouth. So I can't really judge it off that, but as a whole, everything else looks really, really good. Like I really like this foundation. Will I wear it every day? Um, probably not just because, like I've said, I don't really wear foundations every day. Um, I just noticed me personally, I don't enjoy, you know, not being able to put my hand on my face and, you know, I, or lay down and have it on my pillow, like just things like that. I am not always aware that I have face makeup on and it just becomes annoying that you have to touch it up and all that. It's just, I'm a low maintenance person when it comes to that stuff. I'd rather pop some eyeshadow on, eyebrows and the lip and call it a day. But it definitely is really comfortable and I would find myself wearing it again. Um, yeah, and for $16, I think that it's really worth the money. Um, there is, I only did one pump, so it depends on how buildable you want to make it. Um, I think this looks good for me. I mean, I feel like if you're having more of a bad skin day, you may want to do another um, pump just to get a little more coverage. But for me, this looks really, really nice and I really enjoy it. So awesome. I am so glad that I did this video. I finally got to try another new product from ColourPop. I love ColourPop. Um, so yeah, if you liked the video, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you saw today and comment down below. Let me know if you've tried this foundation. Are you loving their pretty fresh line? I would love to try out more of their pretty fresh and kind of get everything from pretty fresh so I can have the primer, the setting spray and all of that. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this foundation. So that's all I have for you guys in today's video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.